In 2001, Dan Stito, a US millionaire, became the first space tourist. He traveled to the International Space Station via a Russian Soyuz rocket. The only problem was he paid 20 million dollars for this 8 day trip which is not a affordable price for most people to cut down the cost of space travel and make it more affordable Virgin Galactic was founded by Richard Branson in 2004 their target was to build a spacecraft that can carry tourists to space and then bring them back safely which gave birth to VSS Enterprise its name was an acknowledgement of the USS Enterprise from the famous Star Trek series everything went smoothly and it looked like VSS Enterprise could be the first spacecraft to take tourists into space On 31st October 2014 a test flight was planned with pilot Peter Siebold and co-pilot Michael Asbury and that is when the tragedy occurred The flight took off smoothly VSS Enterprise carried by White Knight 2 reached a height of roughly 50000 feet Upon reaching that height it was dropped from the mothership igniting its engine VSS Enterprise began its flight But 60 to 90 seconds into the flight Michael Asbury prematurely unlocked the air brake device used for atmospheric reentry while the spacecraft was still under continuous propulsion just 2 seconds later the spacecraft broke down and disintegrated in the air pilot peter seabold escaped from the craft and parachuted safely whereas the co-pilot michael elsbury was killed in the crash recently richard branson made a successful flight into the space using vss unity a predecessor of vss enterprise virgin galactic is now planning to send tourists into the space that will cost below $500,000 a huge improvement from the $20 million dennis tito had to pay